Okay, so we just missed a really good conversation with uh, people who were walking by, uh, not walking by, they were in their car. This lady from Oakville and her husband, and uh, she didn't have an iPhone, so she wasn't able to sign the petition in front of us, but she, we tried everything. We tried to download the QR thing. We, she was very, very uh, enthusiastic to, um, to, to sign, and, uh, and it just goes to show like she'll share with her community, she's going to do all these amazing things uh, to help us for the cause because herself, she has a lot of coyotes in the environment that she lives, and she said they have prompted them not to feed them, not to help them, not to, and she was saying, you know, we took over their habitat, like why would we not help them? Like So anyway, it's just very interesting, uh, I love to see those kind of uh, opinions and ideas from people that agree that you know cruelty to animal for vanity is is ridiculous so oh baby exactly even you recognize your own even you recognize your own when harley gets a little bit better i'll bring him <laughs> Absolutely. Did you happen to have your iPhone on you? Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> so, do we want to go on a walk, you guys? Or we wait for Julie, I guess? I guess we could wait for Julie around here. Can you see that? Be kind, be strong, be true? Or no? What do you see? No, no, I just see I love balance on your chin. Uh, we're right in the parking, like across from the lighthouse. Where are you at? All the way down at the bottom. Uh, at the end of what? Are you all the way down at the bottom in the parking lot? Like beside the water? Tell her Jonathan's in the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you want to keep going all the way down that street that you turned into a parking lot. And then all the way down there, there's another parking lot, and we're on the side of the water. Okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Okay, she's coming. I think she... I'm not sure if she's with Michael and the dogs or not. Because she said we. Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Do we go talk to them? Do we go talk to them? <sighs> Julie just parked her car right now. <laughs> she saw my car. <laughs> I'm going to give her a sign. Somebody was promoting red meat for breakfast, so I just had to comment on it. <laughs> Who the fuck was doing that? Oh, Jael tagged me on something, so I was like... Sabrina forced us all to wear masks. No, she didn't force us. She just said... If the cops come, because we're going to be more than five. I have if my we, scarf. If we, yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly it. For me, it's just my brand. It's like a it's like a scarf thing. Which one do you prefer between these two? Oh, I don't know. They're equally sad. Oh yeah. I knew you'd choose that one for some reason. Yeah. It's going to be easier for me to just do that than to unlock this fucking thing every time. Oh, I've got paint on them. <laughs> That's so funny. I just realized. Oh well. Here we are. Who else is here? Uh, Sabrina, David, Jonathan. Hello. The crew. It's the crew, yo. It's the real of the reals. <laughs> no, no, no freaking lockdown keeps us away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're just like, fuck it. We're doing it anyway. So if you look up at the House of Commons. The lim liberal, Nathaniel Eskreen Smith, he's the one that put in the petition. Okay. It'd be really important to sign that. Thank you so much. You what? Yeah, apparently so. Apparently so. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a lot of things going on right now. I agree. So should we go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Well, as we were taking the signs out, we had one woman right away park her par in the middle of the place to be able to do it but she didn't have she couldn't scan it so we ended up giving her a picture of the petition so she could go look it up on google sign it and confirm in her email <laughs>
But we had a great conversation with her. Oh, look at you, exercising. Do some little jumping jacks with the side. Oh, let's go get them to sign instead. <laughs> I was like, we might as well just go for a walk with our signs on the side of the water. <laughs> I wish I could fucking get some brunch from community. Oh, they have no brunch. <laughs> so frustrating because, like, I want. We should go. Sausage. Let's go get this guy over here. With the dog? Yeah. Tell him. Tell him. Say, hey, buddy, get him to come. Okay, you go. <laughs> Fuck. They're so far though. No, everyone's avoiding us. We should go to that intersection then. I'm sure you guys want to sign the petition so we can ban fur from Canada. Is there anybody who uses fur? Oh. Yes! So many! So many! And all you would have to do is take a picture. Well, not even take a picture. Just open your camera on your phone mm -hmm. and scan the QR code. The petition will come up at the top. You click on it. You enter your information really quickly. And then you confirm in your email. Thank you so is it coming up? Amazing. So, and then all you have to do once you sign it is confirm in your email because they want to make sure that it's legit and actual people are doing that, right? And taking action. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. What happened? Oh, he was going to take our photo, but then he didn't have a memory card in his drone. Oh. Did they sign or what? Did they sign? Did they sign? He's got his iPhone attached to the drone. Oh. So we need to ask them though, what happened there? Why did you... Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we have the QR code. <laughs> we literally have the QR code specifically so that you could sign the petition and then honestly it would help so much. So yes, on your way back, that would be so appreciated. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know, we know, we're pretty good, we're pretty good at recognizing. Hey baby! Um, oh, I'm so sorry, you probably don't like that image. Let me change it around. Aww, baby. I don't want you to freak out because of my mask. Hey? I don't want you to freak out. Come here. Oh, yeah, he's toy. Oh, you're giving me some kisses. Oh. You're 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 owning me now. You're owning me now. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, eh, for taking action. We need people like you so we can finally get this off the streets. You know, it's so unnecessary. <laughs> we actually had another dog earlier who was sniffing this one here. He was he kept staring and then he came up and directly to his beak and like freaked out a bit. It was so cute. I like leggings. Fox. Oh yeah, Julie, she was just saying she loves your leggings. <laughs> All you have to do is scan the QR code. Uh, we usually have some with pens and stuff, but... No, exactly. <laughs> she, has, she has three of her, of her own, so... She's definitely representative. We just need you to scan the QR code. All we would need would be for you to scan the QR code that we have. It's just, we're just trying to stop fur farming. Um, and we have a, a petition right now at the House of Commons. And we just need people to, to look at it with their camera. The link appears and then you can sign the petition online. Oh, you don't have... Oh, okay, okay. Amazing. Yes, yes, yes. So what's the difference about killing minks or killing chickens? What's the difference? Well, we, we I fully agree with you because I'm vegan. <laughs> so, and we all are as well. So we, we don't eat animals either. So 
but we do know that this is a lot more realistic at the time being and with what the outbreaks that have been happening right now so there's there's been a lot of outbreaks um in like Denmark, in Ireland, in BC, here in Canada, within mink farming, where there has been a mutated form of COVID and they've had to kill all of the minks because of the transmission to human. And now it's causing danger upon ourselves. And it's making the vaccines that we're creating right now, maybe not effective if this keeps mutating, mutating, mutating. So at the end of the day, like this is dangerous for us and it's harmful for the animals. So it's really just a no brainer. If, what is it in you that makes you feel that way? I'm an empathetic being that has always loved animals. Like from birth, I think I was vegan in my mind, but I, I didn't know because I knew, but then I was told and taught other ways. And now I've come back to that root, right? And I am so passionate about trying to respect and love all beings that this is one of the industries that I know is just so easy to get out right now. So for 2021, one of my biggest goals is to ban fur farming from Canada and hopefully the import and export, right? And we also want to stop the subsidies for dairy. We want it to respect the Canada food guide more, to put it into things that are going to help people get healthier and not sicker. And so we've got a lot of very high ambitious goals but that is because I care for the people and I care for the animals so it's a win-win for everyone involved and if I don't do it who's gonna do it who's gonna do it I've oh I've been I've been looking this is on the list I've been getting very involved lately this one's a fox yeah there's foxes minx raccoon like fur farming happens worldwide right but in Canada it's huge BC, they had the outbreak that you're just talking about. I know, exactly. So it's spread here to Canada as well. In Denmark, 15 million. So much so that they were calling them the zombie, uh, zombie minks because they were rising from the grave because they're decomposing. It was 15 million. And all of that, they were still being farmed for their skin and their fur. It's ridiculous. It, it is something, and, and I think that everything's interconnected, but at the end of the day, right, we, we need to inform and educate the people, and we need to join forces together to help make this world better, because, you know, people... Exactly. You wonder what's happening right now in the world. If we keep doing what we're doing, it's not going to get better, right? So that's the thing. It's like, this is for everyone involved. This is when people think like, oh, but you only care about animal rights. No, I care about human rights and animal rights and it's all interconnected, but we need to address the root causes that keeps everyone sick on this planet and perpetuates disease. Oh, absolutely. I fully agree with you. We're already leading in that direction and we just need people, enough people to take action so we get to the 10% tipping point. So that people realize, because that's sustainability right there. That's living in harmony with our environment, with the world at large. Like we, we have everything we need and all the resources we need to make it work. It's really just there's a small percentage of people that are preventing it from happening because they want to keep making money, right? It's money, power, greed. So we just need to, we need to, to we're up against that, right? We're up against that. Absolutely. So, and that's exactly it. Why eat one, but love the other? Like here, we're taught to love a specific species, species that everyone calls their pets and, and you know, they, they pay so much money for them and keep them all healthy. And then the irony is they feed them animals, right? They feed their animals other animals and they feed themselves other animals. So they love them, but they don't care about them. And it's like, we need people to start really educating themselves on how to take their health to another level and how to stop um, being a part of the suffering, right? Like, um, so here I have a little team of activists that are all really close friends. They're all from different areas. Like David's from Waterloo, Jonathan's from Mississauga. Uh, you know, Julie is from, uh, I, I keep forgetting. She's all the way across and I always forget where she's working from. I'm, I'm self-employed actually. I'm a personal trainer, coach, holistic nutritionist, and I help people transition to a whole food vegan lifestyle and I help clients get extremely healthy. Um, so I'm very much focused on the health and wellness aspect as well, right? Okay, thank you.
Oh, well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate the questions. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, eh? <laughs> There, One right? conversation at a time. Yeah, like they, like, very Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's, I think the people I was talking to were pretty much vegan. Again. Like, they were very, like, yeah. uh, they were talking about the sustainability aspect, like, more, right? Like, wanting yeah. to know more. And they asked really good questions. I love that. Hi, girls. How are you doing? How are you? Do you think you have, do you have your iPhone on you? We would just need you to scan the QR code to sign a petition. What? Uh, well, good, good for you. <laughs> so if people don't have their phones now, what we have to say is that um, they need to Google the House of Commons okay. ban fur. Like, yeah. it'll come up. Those are keywords. House of Commons ban fur petition, it'll come up uh, for those that don't have a uh, phone. Because we need another solution. Like, we can't keep yeah. getting, like, oh, I don't have my phone. Like, that's not good. We should get cards that have our stuff like not just our stuff but also like yes like where to find us where to find i know i know so i i have it on my you love de the abuse of dead animals that is such an understatement because if you actually saw the footage you would never say that you would never say that if i showed you the footage of what happens to those animals you would never say that you're in denial. You're living your life in denial. Why do you think we're here? I love you too. Ha <laughs> ha. Sending all this love to you. Ignorance is bliss. I love it. She clearly doesn't know what she's talking about. When people say that, it's because they don't know what they're talking about. If they saw what they were talking about, they would never say that, right? They never got themselves to sit down and watch the footage. It's that simple. Yeah, so we need your help. Well, but we need your help to really get them out, like to make sure that it never happens again. I know, I'm sure you have your iPhone to take a little code or, and if you don't, if you just look on Google, the House of Commons, ban fur, you'll see the petition. And Oh, si. Oh, que, que gracioso. Sabes que? I don't know if you heard about what happened, like the outbreaks that happened in Denmark, that happened in Ireland, that happened here in BC. Like all of that because of fur farming, right? And the COVID is getting worse, getting mutated. Like what makes us think that if we keep doing this, breeding animals in small spaces like that and not expecting it to spread, what makes us think that the vaccine will still be applicable in a year right if we keep doing this and keep mutating it through human and animal transmission like we have to take the necessary precautions so we know that this year we're, we're going to be able to put a ban on for with a private members bill but we need people to actually sign the petition because we need to show that we have support right yeah do you have your iphone no oh <laughs> well okay so please uh gun gundra eh? gun gundra remind remind me your name sorry a Gudrun. Gudrun. So, 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 I was thinking Gun Gundra for some Gudrun. reason. And Gudrun. Michelle. Michelle. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so if you could. Que le vaya bien, eh? Bye. Hey, guess what? Hi. Right. How are you? Good. Thank you. Would you happen to have your iPhone on you? No. Oh. Okay. Okay. So then. So then. So then. If you could please later go to uh, the House of Commons, like just. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you signed it? No. Ah, well, we need you to sign it, please. We don't do it. I don't, you know, add to the uh, list of other stuff that comes in because of it. Oh, take action. Take action. Come on, help us out. I have no idea what he's saying. Okay, we don't want to freak. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've, they've, oh, I said, were they the ones saying they'd come back? Or I don't know. Yeah, you so you're going? It was good. I was up far away. Was yeah, I think I'm going to go put that extra sign in my car, maybe. I don't know. Okay, peace out then. <laughs> House of Commons, banning fur from Canada. Thank you. Hey, baby. So wait, did she, did she take the QR code? She's like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So did she understand though? Like, I feel yeah. like we need to be really clear. Like, are we pointing the QR code at them or? I did. I did. I, oh, okay. I turned it around and. I don't. I could tell she yeah, was. Tell him it's digital. 
Uh, right here. You just uh, have to. Okay, thank you. I think it's awful though. But I just. But we need people who think it's awful to take action. Because when good people don't take action, right? All you have to do is open your camera. Yep. And you don't even need to take a picture. It would appear at the top. Yeah, that the link. So you just click on that link. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right at the top. Yeah. And then you'll be able to sign the petition. Oh, okay. And then just please make sure that you confirm in your email. Because they want to make sure, because this is a legit with the House of Commons, and they want to make sure that it's people and not robots that are signing, right? Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. How are you doing? Please, we just need you to scan it with your phone and camera. Take five seconds. Let's get real fur out of Canada, you guys. Cruelty, abuse, torture for animals. Come on. Thank you so much. We need cards. I don't want cards. And to tackle people to make them sign. <laughs> I mean, that's not a camera. Is it? Do you do you have your iPhone with you just to take a little scan so we could get you to sign a petition to ban fur from Canada? Thank you so much. So we would need you after you sign that petition, which is super easy, just to uh, confirm your confirm it in your email after because it's a legit petition and they want to secure the fact that it's not robots and that it's actual people like you that care. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. It's a ban fur from Canada, real fur. You could read the whole thing, then you just, it's a little, uh, yeah, you just have to do, yeah. And then once you've signed it, you fill out your information and send, check your email, okay? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, eh? It's thanks to people like you that history changes. Thank you so much for taking action. You told her about confirmation email? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know, that's, that's the one thing that, the most important thing I took from that uh, phone call yesterday. Yeah, me too. Was like, oh, making sure that they really do that. Yeah, yeah. And it's so important, like that's the last step that finalizes it. If they just sign it and they don't do that, it doesn't count, right? To ban fur from Canada, come on! Uh, no, I it's don't wear fur. We're yeah, coming you know, back. On the okay. Way back, I will sign your petition. Cool, thank you so much. It's all real trim on Ca on Canada Goose, yeah. Because I was looking on their sites and I didn't see the trends on it. No, there's literally uh, like Canada Goose, Moose Knuckles, uh, Nor Nobis. There's quite a few of those that pride themselves from using real fur. That's why they sell the coat at really high prices, right? And the fur is not what keeps you warm at the end of the day. It's just sort of a fashion Yeah. Do you think you guys could please, please, please just scan that with your camera? Okay, well, I'll take a picture. Are you Michelle? Yes. Yeah, I'm Erica. I, I oh my God, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, why did you, but with the masks now and everything, it's so hard to recognize people. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Great. Victorian. Oh, well, thank you so much. And what a random coincidence because we literally just messaged each other yes, recently. I know. She was my trainer at um, Taste, Taste of, of Columbia. Columbia. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I was going to, I spoke to Yuri and I was like, hey, where's, because I thought, you know, you were still doing that before, even by COVID because it was yeah. outdoors. Yeah, but no, like it was, it became so serious, right? Like the first day with the lockdown, with everything happening. Now we have like that second lockdown and like, mm -hmm. and it's cold, so people wouldn't want to go outside. But during the summer, for me, things got so crazy. Like things really, really ramped up during the summer for me. So I couldn't even do it if I wanted to. And people were so afraid, like things were so kind of mm -hmm. unsure that I just preferred not to try and, and do that. Okay. But uh, but yeah, okay, please, please, yeah. please, please. <laughs> I don't have um, that on my phone, but what I do is I'll, I'll take a picture of it. Oh, well, if you want, do you have Google on your phone? No. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So then, so I'm not, sh and then, would you be able to do that with, like, would it, I don't know how, sh how they would do it if they can't. So if a friend you was on? with you, they could show the picture to a friend and it should be able to link to the QR code. Okay. Oh, okay, should okay. Well, yeah, if she and has then, a picture of it for sure. Yeah, and then but can, then it's like, how does she, so basically I'll just give you the basic, basic details. Mm -hmm. It's a petition right now that's happening at the House of Commons. Mm -hmm. And all you would have to Google is House of Commons 
ban for Canada and that would come up. And once you sign it, you just need to confirm it in your email. That's literally to prove that you're a real person and it's not like one of those spam things or whatever that people like yourself actually care, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, eh? <laughs> what just happened here? <laughs> She's, people just, haters will hate. Haters will hate. <laughs> She's like, don't add gas to the fire. <laughs> Oh, I do. Yeah, that's yeah. mine. But people like him, the people that have money, yeah. they think they own this because they yeah, yeah. over there yeah. or they the live in a big house oh. down there. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he knows, like. Yeah, I'm like from here. here. Yeah, yeah. Entitled. Yeah, I very entitled. Here. Yeah, I saw even just recently they finished this. Oh, I deal with cops all the time. You want the oh, okay. We're just, but protesting is essential. So I've already looked at the rule too, like we're not even five right now and any gathering under five outdoors is fine. We're all wearing masks. We all have a lot. I used to have, I have all these, I have over 1500 signatures on pen and paper from people that we've been doing for the past year, but, or for the past few months actually, but now people are too freaked out. So I, we came up with the QR codes and stuff, right? So we're doing, we're trying to like get with times and make it work. Like that's why I can't, I used to do this stuff all the time, but now I kind of do that like on my own time, like I'm a lobbyist. Yeah. Just certain lobbyists in Hamilton though, but I can't lobby anywhere else. Oh, okay, okay. So I have to be very careful. So I've given a clean start for stuff and everything. Oh, okay, okay. Cool, that's amazing, Erica. I didn't even know. Yeah, so hey guys. Like he does, but he's really, like, I'm a grassroots lobbyist. Yeah, yeah. He does just like to complain about, but doesn't know. <laughs> Take action? Yeah, but I kind of yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I know people like that. They like so to talk, but they don't take action. As long as you don't get, um, as long as you know, so because I know I could get kicked out. Like, I, I could be. There are times where. Like, oh, yeah, us I'd too. Be, like last I, I Sunday, we had to leave church. and like things. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Oh, 100%. That's what I happens when you're an activist, you right? Are. Like, you get kicked out. Of yeah. course. And why? Because you're taking bold action so that change happens. Because if we keep doing the same shit over and over again, nothing's going to change, right? So we need sometimes to take drastic actions to make things change. Like, otherwise, people don't wake up. Like, they're blind by their own little comfort. But now, there's one good thing about COVID, I have to say. And is exactly that. It's I'm just gonna put this up more there. There's this uh, one thing that's better about COVID is that people have started realizing that their actions mm -hmm. matter, right? Like that they actually need to uh, mm -hmm. to do something about it. That if you keep repeating the same thing, this is will never stop, right? But thank you. Yeah, thank I'll you. Okay, okay awesome, awesome. Oh, you guys are going back yeah. in. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Somebody walks up to the camera to start talking and say, don't kill me. Why did you walk up to my yeah. camera? Yeah. <laughs> like, he just looks at you. You're annoying. You're no, like, he looked at me and he says, don't talk to me. I'm like, I wasn't even talking to you. You just talked to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell is that? That's so funny. Talk to you. I didn't want to talk to you. He's gonna come back to I love how like one person out of 20 is someone I know. <laughs> That's funny too, yeah. A lady just walked by me and she said, she had to stop, right? She's like, I just had to stop. I just want to let you know that I like wearing fur. And I'm like, you realize that they're anally electrocuted and you're going to wear that on top of you. And she's like... <laughs> <sighs> anally electrocuted. But see, so when someone says that, I always ask them exactly that. Like, really? Like, have you seen the footage? Yeah, have you seen what happened? And, and they I, don't. And they never it. have, they have, right? They never have. No. Never anyone had said, no oh yeah, I've seen it. That. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why you have to get them asking that so that they realize like, yeah, you're right. I am a fucking hypocrite. Like, you're so, right. Like, Animal justice just exposed a video. Um, oh, I, I didn't on, didn't want to look at it, but I was, I was thinking that I was going to share it, but then I was like, ugh. In Poland, right? So they yeah. showed um, 
being put into gas. Yeah. And they actually had a camera inside. So oh if any God. normal, logical human being saw that, they would be like, no. Like, yeah. That shouldn't happen. That's why when that crazy woman was just like, I'm not done. Like, I get a few of those crazy people that say that. But it's like, again, it's like they, they've they're just... It. So then it's like, okay, you're allowed to like fur. Just get it synthetic. Like, yeah. what the fuck? The Excellent. Why no do you difference. want to keep killing animals for it? I'm so confused. You could have beautiful synthetic fur. You like fur? Keep the fashion in. We're fine. Keep the fashion in. Just don't kill animals. It's that simple. Hi. How are you? Good. We have a little QR code here to try and prompt people to sign the online petition. Do you have your iPhone with this you? Is about the fur? Yes, to try. I did that already. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> have a great day. All those same people walking down here is up there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're probably thinking the. Yeah. 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 So, so it's funny that you say that because I started thinking. I started thinking yesterday that I was really sad we didn't have the phone number of all the people or email or anything of all the people that have signed because now I could just take the time to call them and get them to do the online one. Oh, right? Oh, I have the emails. No. The, oh, the address. It's just the address. Oh. But I mean, I guess we could go to the addresses and try to find them. But like, are we going to mail them? That's. No, but also we could potentially find them on social media one by one and just send a message and be like, hey, you know, here's the online one. Right. Please sign it and yeah. do this. What yeah. the hell is that? I missed something. <laughs> Which we part? Missed a few <laughs> <laughs> oh, what always happens? People and their get triggered. Or their, what happened? Or their, uh... Well, I was having a great conversation and then this couple, I just hear this couple pass by and freak out at David like, Get away from me or something. He yeah, he looked yeah, at David. The woman said, said get away from me. <laughs> she wasn't like, even like, near her. He didn't even. You're ruining our, our walk here or something like that. And I'm like, excuse me? He's like, yeah, you don't belong here. I'm like, what? Hi. Hi How are you? <laughs> Just a few seconds of your time to scan the QR code. <laughs> Yes. We believe that. We so believe please, no. please take action too, though. Do you have your iPhone with you? We just need you to scan the QR code with your phone. Please, it's to ban real fur. You guys are on our side. You're wearing beautiful synthetic fur. Okay, that's it. We're, we're barricading the path now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, fuck. Wait for the cops to pull up in like five seconds. <laughs> That's it. I want the least least amount of thing and that for sure they're here. Hi. How are you? Hello. Do you think you could help us ban fur from Canada? No. Why is that funny? We're talking about... There's a reason you're wearing a mask, miss. We're talking about the suffering of our fellow friends and humans. So I don't know why this is funny to you. Ignorance, Ignorance on the lake. <laughs> IOS. On the lake, on the lake. Yeah, he's like, fuck this. Getting people just saying mean things to us. Hello. Hi, you guys. Do you think you could help us ban real fur from Ontario and from Canada? Really? For your fellow friends, the animals, the humans, so we stop mutating COVID. There's tons of good reasons to take action today. Like people just, just want pandemics to keep happening. <laughs> it's crazy. No one cares, no one cares. Ah, it's hard. Hi. How are you? Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to call it a day soon. We could go to my place and make better use of our time. If anything, we could like promote that petition, send it to individual, like take action. Like we go back to my place and we just literally, uh, 
take the time to go to each of our friends on Facebook, our family, like all of our people, and we send them the petition. We yeah, say, yeah, you yeah, need yeah, to yeah. sign it, and you need to go back in your email and confirm. Okay. Please do it now. I'd like to try the QR code as our profile picture too. We'll, we'll test it out to see if it works. Okay, yeah, yeah let's, let's go do that as well. Yeah. Fuck it, like fuck this. People suck! I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding, but anyway. <laughs> Why is it practical? I'll bet you this is warmer than that. I can only tell you about me. I'll trade. But if you knew, if you knew that you could have, if you knew that you could have something very, very warm. You realize that what where you're wearing the fur is vanity, right? It's not actually to keep you warm. We're all vegan, We're so all vegan. like. I'm totally into it. I'm not vegan, but I can. I don't eat food. Um, so, so thing is I guess my question would be what would it take for you to like not change promote that or change your mind? It's not fair. Why? Like, like for like knowing like knowing the cruelty behind it knowing that there's other things that you could use to keep yourself warm knowing that right now it's not about a good candidate it's not about a good candidate it's a inspector meat eater and my whole family worked in it and i thought you know what i'm 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 never going to change. What's a vegan? I didn't even know what a vegan was. But I changed, and I feel like if I can change working in a slaughterhouse, seeing no, it and actually eating meat that same day, I feel like anybody can change.